Jackie Wells. Oh, V. You get any sleep? No matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something when I jacked into that corpo's biomine. You know, uh, neurovirus, sir. I need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Throw some threads, meet me downstairs. Okay. Am I naked? Wait. Open wardrobe. Oh no, I am naked. I'm just completely naked. Okay. Alright, well, this is officially the redneck outfit. Sweet. I'm gonna catch you up to speed here real quick. In the last video, Jackie Wells and I were given a job, which was to go save Sandra Dorset from the scavs. Now, scavs rip apart other people for their internal organs and then sell them on black markets for quick profit. We prevented this from happening to Sandra and therefore saved her life, which completed our job. After completing our job, Jackie Wells decided he was going to drive me home, which he did. And then the last video ended. This video started by we waking up in the apartment that he took me to, in which I was immediately barraged by a series of phone calls, one of which included Jackie Wells. Jackie told me he needed to meet me downstairs, so I just needed to throw some clothes on and find my way down to him so that he could talk to me. I was going to go do that immediately, but unfortunately, I actually got lost on this floor of the building for probably about 30 minutes because I was trying to find a staircase that took me down out of the building only to discover the only way out of the building is actually an elevator. So I'm not going to make you sit here for 30 minutes while I wandered around aimlessly, but I did meet some people that might become important later on, so I am going to introduce you to them, and then we will get back to the main plot with Jackie promptly. Okay. Regina hey, Jones. Me. Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, B. Okay. Hey, what up? Hey, V. Regina Jones here. I heard you were looking for work in Watson. Just so happens I'm one of its main employers. If you don't want to waste those talents of yours, check the gigs I sent you. Do good work, and there's more where that came from. I'll be in touch. Okay. Hey, yo, V. How about a round or two? What do you say? Okay. How you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next-gen ass whooping. He did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of V. <laughs> so how about it? Yeah, sure. Where'd you get him? Where'd you get him, Fred? Off the street. Saw him looking up at me with these big, sad eyes. So I took the poor pup in. Fed him, clothed him. <laughs> nah, for real. He's a military bot. Got a sweet deal. And a tumor mine tossed in a few upgrades. Now, here we are. Sweet. How's it going? Fight's about to start. Not gonna watch, take notes. Malone versus Hernandez. <laughs> nah, our chrome friend here don't watch TV. Don't talk neither. Only way he communicates is with them fists. Gotcha. Let's do this. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. Cool. I'm gonna wallop you, dude. Come here, boy. I blocked that. Not a bad start. Find some time, we'll work on your technique. Oh. <laughs> uh, 
I really wanted to punch that guy. V, what if I told you that you could have some fun and make a little at ease in a single stroke? Fighting tournaments coming up. I think you got what it takes. Flicking you the cords of your opponents. Money and fame are waiting. Mmm. All right, a couple of words about who you're going up against. Kabaki. Kabuki. Won't spoil this, just come and see. Oroyo. Buck. Sixth Street Ganger. Real POS. <laughs> Glenn, Caesar, fists like effing hammers, Animal Club, Rhino, woman's a legend, lays everyone flat. Oh, and one more thing, until the lockdown on Watson is lifted, you won't fight in any other districts. So, but don't worry, when things loosen up, you'll be the first to know. All right, well, let's go downstairs. NCPD Scanner Hustles. The NCPD will pay you to help fight crime. Gigs. Fixers will contact you when you approach a gig's location. Fixers. These intermediaries will inform you about local gigs available. Okay, okay. I don't have anything to sell, bro. Hey, Jackie. Man of the hour. <laughs> Sheesh. Took you long enough. Worked up an appetite just waiting. Oh, really? Sit down. Let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Okay. Didn't figure you as a type for Asian. Would have thought you'd find it too exotic. What do you mean? What's there not to like? Noodles? Check. Synth sirloin? Check. Get some more chile action up in here, and you're looking at Mama Well's signature sopa de fideos. <laughs> <laughs> Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass JOB. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but. Just that he's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Oh, Dex? Only the top fixer in Night Fucking City. Fat ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold plated cool. How'd you manage it? How'd you manage to pull this? Trade in your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You know me? Oh, but T Buck, she's the one that hooked us up, got us talking. Do it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. All right. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. <laughs> oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal, he's riding on you now, I see. No, sir, why not? All right. Let's hear what old Dex has to say. Set it up. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no more. They start on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. Gracias a Dios. Estoy lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust off with the scabs. Cool. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Cool. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? All right, let's feel this factory new ride. Super Sweet. stop. Ripper Duck and Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vic's anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. 
You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. I get that. Wait, hold on. What do you mean, Oh, there's hidden loot chests. I just saw that. Oh, you can fast travel. Okay, yeah, I know how to fast travel. Let's go leave my car parked right there in the street. But you are not the masters of your memories, for your eyes do not belong to you, or rather, not Gary the prophet. Only to you. Okay, do Gary. Hey, V. Dr. Vector will see you now. Gotcha. Cat? Cat! Cat! Vicky, surprise every old ripper. Though a common practice, cyberware installation is still a dangerous and invasive procedure which can only be performed by qualified specialists, ripper docs. There are several ripper docs operating throughout Night City who offer a variety of different cyberware upgrades. Select your desired cybernetic upgrade from the list and enjoy your new ability. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. Oh, wow. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Hmm. Need some new kit. But tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Ah, uh, no. Who are you crying, Vic? I'll bring you the Eddies later. With interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Okay. Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got. And should be about right under the circumstances. Now, Jack, in. Okay. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Cybernetic implants are mechanical replacements for the organic parts of your body. They can give you superhuman-like abilities, which can improve your combat capability and help you survive in hazardous conditions. Although a common practice in 2077, the installation of cyberware is still an invasive and sometimes dangerous medical procedure. Only specialists known as Ripper Docs are trusted to install your cyberware safely. Okay. Caller system. Yes. Yes. Okay, I need street cred for literally everything else, right? You could replace your entire skeleton? Wait, really? Titanium bones. <laughs> yeah. I can have titanium bones. Okay. Mark 1, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. 
talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Uh, what's new? So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town, but been sleeping nights ever since. That's fair. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Feels like I'm at the dentist. Play by play, though. Really, Doc? Makes it sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. <laughs> Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. I'll see the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Uh, that's it? Seen more dramatic improvements before. Patience, kid. Give it a minute. Scanning people with your optical cyberware can provide you with a lot of useful information, such as how strong an enemy might be, who is in their crew, and what type of weapon they use. As a skilled netrunner, you can see a list of quick hacks which you can use against your enemies. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. Oh. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. Cool. A database of individuals with bounties assigned to them is now available to use. You can identify these wanted persons with your scanner. Since all are wanted dead or alive, the methods you use to claim your reward are entirely up to you. Dope. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. Draw. What about the virus? How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Cool. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What is it? What am I looking at? A mild stim. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Okay. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. I won't, Vic. Who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Now every last fighter's got extra skull lining. Absorb 75% of every blow. Huh. Got cash riding on this? Nah, just looking. <laughs> it's out of habit more than anything else. 
Miss it, don't you? Ah. Uh. <laughs> I like Vic. Pull my phone. Open messages. Jackie Wells. It's taking so long. Move your ass. I see. Dex is waiting on us. Fair enough. Hmm. Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Gotcha. How's biz, Misty? Up, uh, human. <sighs> You're the first person to walk in here for two days. And two days ago, it was a pizza guy. Got lost. People in this town, they've lost their spiritual connection. But well, you know, I'm here to serve them, not the other way around. Gotcha. V, listen, I've got this delicate matter. It's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in this city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, okay. but this issue matters to me to for a few now. reasons. There are people who say cyberpsychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. Okay. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. There are various ways to incapacitate enemies without killing them. Non-lethal takedowns, non-lethal quick hacks, non-lethal weapons. There are non-lethal weapons in this game? Never knew that. EMP grenades and some combat gadgets. Weapon mods that can change damage to non-lethal. Okay, the map might be how you get non-lethal weapons. If a given weapon, combat gadget, or quick hack deals non-lethal damage, it will be mentioned in the description. Got you. What is she doing? Okay. Hi. Can I? No. 